Welcome to my channel, The Proper Guidance. Today we will learn program number 11. The program is about palindrome. Now see, in our previous classes, we have done the palindrome program. For what? For an integer. For an integer, we have already solved the palindrome program. Now we will discuss about a string palindrome. You have to take an input for a string then you have to check the reverse string if the string and the reverse string is equal then we will tell you will say that this is a palindrome for string if the string the given string and the reverse string is not matched with each other then we will tell that the string is not a palindrome so this is our program now see what is the programming code I have written for this programming language? See here, my str. This is a variable name. This is a variable to store or to take the input from a user that is entered a string. And his, this is used as input method. You know, input method we have used so many times. Okay. Now, my str equals to my str dot case fold c a s e this is e f f o l d case fold method this is a uh, uh, user uh, this is an inbuilt method okay this is an inbuilt method in used in python programming language for what to return a string where all the characters are in lowercase i have written the definition of case fold method here you please note down it this is considered as a note we use this case fold method to convert any of the caps letter to the lower case why because python is a case sensitive language that's why we will first do it in a particular one case I am considering here the lower case itself. This method returns a string where all the characters are in lower case. Another method is also here to convert any character to lower case that is lower method itself. But this case fold method is much much stronger than lower method. Okay, this is the stronger one. So we use here case fold my str equals to my str dot case fold this line means that when we are giving a user input that particular string value will be converted to lowercase itself and after that lowercase conversion that string will be stored in the variable my str clear this is the point this is the definition of case fold and this is the implementation of case fold method in a programming language okay now there is another variable that is rev str i am taking this okay one more thing is that when we are uh, taking the variable names now uh, try to take some particular name uh, which is very meaningful to your required variables I, I just want to say we are uh, trying to get the reverse string that's why i am writing here rev rev for uh, initial or abbreviation for reverse word itself and that's why this is not mandatory that you have to take like this you may take any any character a b c d whatever you want but we are just taking this name in this order because when uh, you are going some in developing field now uh, there there is no, not such a small program we have to solve so many big big coding and big big programs are there and that's why when we are taking some variables according to the programming requirement this is easy to understand okay this is easy to understand that's why the naming convention uh, is, is this that is that uh, look here my str my str means what because we are taking the input that's why i am written here my str this doesn't mean that you have to take only this variable as a name 
there are some specific rules for taking name of the variables that's different but here you can also use x y z anything okay this is not mandatory to take like this we are taking this for this reason only to understand what it means actually okay so and that is the only reason when we use comment section also these are very basic basic things for programming language but you should know why use this okay now see here ref str this variable is used to store the reverse of the particular string which is a user input now see this is reversed r e v e r a c d reversed my str this is also a inbuilt method i am writing here this is also a inbuilt method in python used to reverse a given string clear this is inbuilt method used in python to reverse a given string here the given string that is my str we have taken like this and we are passing the string in this method to get the reverse of that particular string okay now this is very simple line there is a if statement and what we are doing here we are just comparing and equaling list of my str that is the given one list of my str the, here we use list in python a uh, list is like an array it will took the string completely and one by one character it will comparing with that particular a uh, different string here it is rev str two are different uh, these two strings are different you know my str this is one and after reverse we get the rev str this is the another now this list my str and list rev str we are comparing whether they are equal or not if they are equal then this will print the string is palindrome else this will print the string is not a palindrome clear this is our entire program and this is very a uh, simple one uh, and uh, i always uh, tell you that there are so many ways to solve a program just like mathematics when you solve any um, pro problem there are different ways no and that's why uh, we always like to choose the simple one right uh, suppose you are going to school or college or tuition uh, what the way we will choose we you will always choose not the simplest way where the time taken procedure will be less uh, right and a uh, less effort will be given so that particular simple way that is always uh, we select if you want you go for another option that's not an issue but this is the simple way i think now clearly understand the logic output i am writing the output here look the first output line means the first display section when we uh, run the program uh, in the uh, python programming language in your computer when you run it you can see that when you run it execute it you get enter a string enter a string enter a string i am entering here madam now my str my str case fold after that it will change so this madam this string will be stored in what stored in my str variable my str madam will be assigned in this variable only right this is our output section and uh, here here is another line we print that is the string is a palindrome just one second the output will be like this enter a string madam and the string is a palindrome the string is a palindrome this is our output and the program works like this one the program will work like this one my str right on my str madam will be assigned there and thereafter you we can see that here is one caps capital letter m is in caps 
So this case fold my str the next line will be executed like this when we are invoking this case fold method my str dot case fold it will give us all the characters in lower case okay all the characters will be given as this one after that rev star rev str rev str means it will give you the reversed method will give you the reverse of the string now see what is the reverse of the string we are writing like this one in this order from right hand side to left hand side so the first letter will be m after that a then d then a then m we get again m a d a m the same characters at here as the given one now Next step, the if statement will be executed. List of my str. List of my str means list of madam equals to equals to list of madam. The same thing. These are equal. Yes or no? Yes. So this checking is returning the true value. This is yeah, true for the my str string as well as the reverse string also. So it will print the string is a palindrome. Our program is completed here. Okay. So you people just note down it properly along with the notes. It will be helpful when we, uh, we opt for exam and here is very little time to revise. Uh, this section will help you. Okay you must write down the output as well as the dry run section and what I am telling you every day that please string uh, take another input here is take one another uh, output output will be here and try to dry run it in your copy as well as you always execute these programs in your machine okay this is a virtual class and I cannot um, present in your lab but these programs can do it so please uh, try to execute these programs in your uh, lab and if there is any problem please feel free to ask me whatever your query i will clarify it okay so till then take care and we will meet on another day with another program thank you for watching